It's a small stage for the riders because it's only 120 kilometers. It's all flat. It ends with eight loops on the Champs Elysees, so it's celebration time. The big party because I don't think any rider will try to attack before getting to the Champs Elysees. Then it's just about the sprinters. I watched Peter Sagan closely yesterday. He didn't really seem to push hard. My guess is that he keeps some energy for the stage. And then there's Great Ball, there's Goss. All the sprinters will be here. Even the ones who are not genuine sprinters will try because the Champs Elysees is so big. Winning on the Champs Elysees is a chance, a dream. If we want to sum up this Tour de France, we can say that at the beginning a rider called Cancellara came to power, kept the lead for about 10 days, so it stopped the race. As a result, there weren't many breaks, rather sprint arrivals often. And then Wiggins overthrew him, and from that moment, once his lead was beyond two or three minutes, he just followed. He let some riders take their chance for stage wins. That was profitable for the French riders who performed well with Thomas Vaucler, Thibaut Pinot, Roland, Federigo. That's great. Vaucler did a good job by keeping the polka dot jersey, even if he's not the best climber. He went out for it, not in the small climbs unlike what some may think, but on two difficult mountain stages. He went out for those points, and I say hats off to him, really, because it wasn't easy. Next year we're all going to wait for you in Corsica, since the tour will start there. We'll be there for three days. It will be sublime because the landscapes are amazing. And since it will be the first time the tour ever goes there, I believe they intend to honor us and it will be great.